In this video, we'll be going through the HRD mode on the CDJ2000 Nexus when used with Traktor 2.6. Traktor Pro and your CDJ communicate with each other over a USB connection. The CDJs act as a controller for the software and also use the display so you can browse and see Traktor player information without looking at your laptop. All of our current CDJs can also be used as sound cards and the audio from your software uses the existing analog and digital outputs. We'll show you exactly how to set this up along with other options like using Traktor certified mixes or external audio interfaces. Setting up the CDJ purely as a controller is plug and play on both Mac and PC. Connect your laptop with USB cables provided to the ports on the back of the CDJs. You may need a decent USB hub like this for using multiple devices. Once connected, hit the link button on the CDJ. Here you will see USB MIDI and any other devices connected by link. Make sure USB MIDI is selected and press the navigation button to connect it to your computer. If it has successfully linked, Traktor then asks you which virtual deck to control with that player. You can choose between deck A, B, C or D. If for any reason this hasn't worked, make sure the settings in Traktor are correct. Go into the preferences, then controller setup, then click on the CDJ2000 Nexus. Make sure the in and out ports are set to CDJ and the device target is set to focus. For the HRD control with the older 2000s, you also need to make sure the player is set to advanced HRD mode in each player's utility menu. The players work in almost exactly the same way as they do for CD and USB music. Using the CDJ as a controller for Traktor is effortless, so all that's left to do is set up the sound card. This can be done in three different ways depending on the equipment you have available. One, we highly recommend you use Traktor certified mixers like the DJM900 Nexus and the DJM850 which have built-in sound cards. This is by far the simplest to set up and you don't need to make any extra audio connections. Two, if you don't have a Traktor certified mixer and you'd rather not rewire the back of your mixer with multiple inputs, you can use the CDJ's built-in sound cards. This is by far the most convenient because the sound comes through to the digital and analog outputs on the CDJ so it's already wired up to the mixer. Use the deck itself to switch between CD, USB, SD or Traktor without needing to change the input on the mixer. Finally, you can of course use any sound card and connect just the outputs to any mixer in a normal way. So let's start out by showing you how to set up Pioneer Traktor certified mixers. Traktor 2.6 has been designed to automatically recognize the DJM900 Nexus and the DJM850. For this to work, install the drivers for both Mac and PC from pioneerdj.com forward slash support. The software automatically assigns the outputs to each deck in sequence when we plug it in like this. To confirm the settings or change the defaults, open up preferences. Then click audio devices. Make sure your mixer is selected as the device. Once you've done that, go into the output routing and select external. Here you can set each deck to each channel on the mixer. The default is deck A, B, C and D to be mapped to channels 1, 2, 3 and 4 in order. Some people find it more logical to have tractors A and B decks on the middle two faders and the bottom C and D decks on the outer two faders. To do this on a Mac, 0 and 1 represents the left and right stereo pair for the first mixer channel and on Windows it starts from 1 and 2. So in the routing of this Mac I need to set deck C to 0 and 1, deck A to 2 and 3, deck B to 4 and 5, and deck D to 6 and 7. Using this channel output guide you can use any configuration you want to get the output of any deck to any channel on the mixer. Finally, set the channels on the mixer to USB. Now let's take a look at using the CDJ's built-in sound cards. To use the built-in sound card of multiple CDJs, they need to be grouped together because Traktor can only select one audio interface at a time. Our Windows ASIO driver does this for you and Macs have a utility to create what's called an aggregate audio device. We'll show you the correct procedure for each to make sure the players are always numbered and assigned to the correct virtual deck output. These instructions also apply to the CDJ 350, 850, 900, 2000 and 2000 Nexus. On a Mac, you'll find the audio MIDI setup tool in applications and then utilities. We're using Mountain Lion, but it may look different in your OS version, but the principle is still the same. Open it up and click the plus sign which is at the bottom left and this creates a new aggregate device. Name it to what you want and then connect your first CDJ on the left. 
When you see it appear in the list, tick the box. This will give it the output channels of 0 and 1. Connect the next CDJ, tick the box, and then this deck will have the output channels of 2 and 3, and so on. It's important to be sure to connect the CDJs and tick the box one at a time, otherwise the ordering of the aggregate device may not be correct. Once you've finished adding the CDJs, close the audio MIDI setup and this will be saved for you. Now you've set up your CDJs, go into Tractor and select the new aggregate audio device you created as the device. Again, we want to follow the Tractor deck layout and put deck A and B in the middle and decks C and D on the outer edge. To do this, set deck A to 2 and 3, deck B to 4 and 5, deck C to 0 and 1, and deck D to 6 and 7. Once this has been done, press Link on your CDJs and then use a navigation to select PC Control to connect each deck to Tractor. You then have to choose which Tractor Virtual Deck each CDJ controls and then you're ready to go. Test each deck by loading a track and making sure it's coming out of the relevant channel on the mixer. Using Windows, all you need to do is install the CDJ2000 Nexus drivers. This can be downloaded from the same page on pioneerdj.com support. Click on drivers and download, then install. Once powered on, connect your CDJs from left to right. Open Tractor and go to Preferences. You will then need to go to Audio Devices and choose Pioneer CDJ ASIO. Unlike on the Mac, each CDJ is given a number, with left and right clearly marked for each deck. We've got four CDJs, numbered 1 to 4, from left to right. As with the Mac, it's essential just to connect them in that order, but they are added to the driver automatically. We want to again follow the tractor deck layout and put deck A and B in the middle and C and D on the outer edge. In output routing, click on external and in the drop down menu set deck A as CD2 left and right. Set deck B to CDJ3 left and right. Deck C will need to be set as CDJ1 left and right. And deck D will need to be set as CDJ4 left and right. That's basically all you need to do to get set up for Mac and PC. But to make sure everything is as you want it, next time you set up, especially with new equipment or at a new club, make sure you follow this procedure exactly. Before connecting the CDJs, make sure they're all powered on. Check they have firmware version 1.6 or above, if not, update them. Now be very careful to connect the devices from left to right in sequence. Connecting the devices in the wrong order may cause the audio to come out of the wrong CDJ, therefore the wrong channel on the mixer. Tractor remembers your channel assignment for each sound card or aggregate audio device, so this will always be the same as you last left it. This works perfectly if the decks are logically laid out from left to right and plugged into the mix channels in sequence. But if you get to a club with a different layout, different number of CDJs, or the CDJs are wired to the mixer in an unfamiliar way, you can easily switch the channels in Tractor at the flick of a button. Simply open up the output routing tab within Preferences. The output for each deck can be changed here so that any virtual deck in Tractor can be sent to any output or device channel. This means that you can set the layout to suit you or the current setup. If you simply want to switch the channels, this can be done in the audio device routing tab using these arrow buttons. If you find older CDJ2000s at a club, all of these instructions apply in almost the exact same way. However, when using the built-in sound card on a Mac, you need to create a new aggregate audio device for any different combination or versions of the CDJs. For example, four CDJ2000s, or a pair of 2000s and a pair of 2000 Nexuses. On Windows, the CDJ audio driver is the same for all versions of the CDJ range, so it just comes down to which order you plug them in. You can easily create a settings file for each setup or location you play at and record this in an instant. To do this, go to Preferences and then click Export. Be sure to click on Audio Device Settings in the Configuration panel before exporting. Click OK and choose where to save it and give a name such as Home or the club you play at. To import one, simply click on Import within Preferences, locate the TSI file and then press Load. Again, make sure you tick Audio Device Settings before clicking OK. As you can see, there are various ways that the CDJs can be used with Tractor and different audio hardware. This makes it less stressful and quicker to get started when changing setups. As long as you follow these steps exactly, you will always get the results you want.